Traditionally, cybersecurity is not something that's been focused on or taught um, in, in, in academia. Uh, up until maybe the last decade or so. And so there's a huge, huge need for uh, people with cybersecurity backgrounds and cybersecurity expertise. The world of security threats is changing very rapidly. It's a very different thinking process compared to what five years ago we were up against. When you're studying software engineering, you're taught to, you know, develop for utility, but you don't really think about the edge cases and um, unintended you know, consequences that come with you writing software, which is what the whole cybersecurity landscape covers and is all about. Our curriculum prov uh, provides a lot of flexibility for the students that come in. So we do have a few core courses that everybody takes. And then beyond that, we have a set of elective courses. And the elective courses allow for the students to focus on, for example, emerging topics in machine learning or IoT. And so they can really define what they want to do afterwards. I think the cross-pollination of skills has definitely been helpful. Um, my eyes have been open to certain approaches and pipelines that I probably would not have had exposure to otherwise. It's good to have an understanding of all of these different topics because when you're in an information security organization within any company, you work very cross-functionally with each other. I would say that coming out of the program you would have a lot of freedom, I guess, to, to venture into different areas of the cybersecurity landscape. We have some students who come directly out of undergraduate and enroll in our cybersecurity program. We also have students who are already professionals. They are uh, software engineers, they're computer scientists, and they've decided that they want to specialize in cybersecurity, and so they'll come complete our program to do that. And then we also have a set of students who are coming from different fields. We offer a one-year um, graduate certificate, and the graduate certificate basically covers, at a very rapid course of uh, study, a computer science and software engineering undergraduate degree, or at least the core courses from that. And so it basically allows a student who doesn't have a computer science background to bootstrap into our, uh, into our program. The backgrounds and life stories of the cohort definitely fall on a really broad spectrum. I've had a lot of experience seeing the different ways that people can look at problems. You have people who have a very technical background looking at it one way, and people who have a non-technical background looking at it another. Um, and I get to chat with all of them and figure out how does they see things. We have to push the envelope of knowledge at any given time. And that happens through research. And that is an integral part of what the academic world does. I hope to prepare people to face the challenges uh, that are immediate, yet keep on investigating where the future is going. And in the process, we bring them here, show them what we do. They do some internships with us, do some projects with us, and if they get employed, even better. That's the icing on the top. I'm definitely very, very fortunate, I think, to have participated and to continue participating in the Masters of Cybersecurity program. Um, I've just learned a lot of you know, new topics and concepts, techniques even, as well as done a lot of networking in the cybersecurity area. And it's definitely introduced me to a completely different world, which I really appreciate.